Hello, and welcome to Sherwood High School's Virtual Library Orientation. I'm Stephanie Flaherty. I'm the Library Media Specialist here at Sherwood. This is my fifth year at Sherwood. I have one media assistant. Her name is Katherine Beauchart, and we have a media services technician, Mr. John Williams. So what we do, um, we provide help. I often say we have the best job in the whole school because our entire job revolves around helping the teachers, the staff, the administration, and most importantly, our students. We provide all the digital resources for completing assignments. Um, we also provide the digital resources that your, our teachers are using to instruct um, students currently. We provide um, assistance with the passwords and login information. We help our students with my, my MCBS classroom. Um, we also are now providing ebooks uh, for enjoyment or even for use for research or even personal knowledge. We help our students format papers correctly. Um, and by that I mean I provide um, lessons and examples to help students uh, learn how to format their papers in either MLA or APA format, which their teachers will require um, here in high school. We also assist teachers and students with technology issues related to instruction. Obviously, um, that has bumped up a little this uh, time around, but we're always here to help uh, our teachers and our students um, figure out how to use a lot of these resources um, to get the most out of their learning. So some of the things I'm specifically responsible for is to curate resources that align to the curriculum. And by that I mean the resources that are available to our staff and students are researched and um, investigated and have to meet certain criteria before we can allow them to be used um, by anyone. So a lot of the resources are sometimes, some of the resources are provided by MCBS and additional resources that Sherwood provides is often um, specific based on the needs and the requests of our teachers. I also take um, time to evaluate um, both nonfiction and fiction materials for students and teachers. Um, generally that would be both physical and digital resources. Um, this year it is heavy on the digital and much less so on anything physical, um, especially since we don't know when we're going to be back physically in the building to be able to lend those materials. Um, I am also responsible for creating or at least coordinating the Common Sense Digital Citizenship lessons that our ninth and 10th graders are expected to um, go through. So these, this year, these lessons will be completely self-contained with, with, within my MCBS classroom, and they will be delivered um, during the advisory on Tuesdays. So there's two ways um, to access our materials. We do have a website. Um, it is linked directly off the homepage of Sherwood High School. And when you click the library link, you will come to our webpage. There is a variety of materials and support documents contained within the library media website, including a new page that we just built with some technology uh, tips, tools, tricks, things to help everyone out as we navigate this um, complete digital learning environment. But more important for your student is to ensure that they have accepted the invitation to the library course. So the virtual library, as I like to call it, contains um, all the information that they need um, to be successful at Sherwood. This is where the resources, the links to the resources, uh, their login information, and the passwords are all contained. So when students have accepted the invitation, they should see, and you as the parent, should also see the library um, virtual class. And when you click on that and open it up, you will get this splash page, which has links to modules, to the online resources, descriptions. Um, we presently still have the summer reading assignment listed. This is the link to all of our ebooks, uh, links to find, get a hold of me. Um, the password file is just a list of the resources and the login and information for each of those. So if they click on the digital online resources, what should open is a spreadsheet um, 
This was updated completely in August and I will continue to update it as it is required. But basically the spreadsheet has um, the suggested subject area, it will have the resource name and a direct link to that resource. All of the resources will require a username and a password when accessing from home. If we were in the school building, generally the um, resources will open up automatically without that username and password, but since we're all ba based out of home right now, they will have to use these username and passwords. And then off to the side is a description of those resources and how they might be used. We strongly encourage our students to not Google. Um, we don't consider Googling an option here at Sherwood because the answers that you might get back are not always accurate um, or can be authenticated. So we strongly suggest and um, generally require that our students use the resources available through the library to complete their assignments, their papers, and their projects. Of course, I want to encourage you to encourage your student to continue to read for pleasure. Um, sometimes this drops off in high school because of so many of their other um, activities, but the um, data shows that the, even if you take five to 10 minutes a day to just read, um, it's very good for your mental health. Um, and I think students still enjoy um, a lot of the books that we have to offer. Unfortunately, since I can't check them out physically, I have had to order um, ebooks and I'm working on building that collection. Um, it's kind of new. So we do have graphic novels, we have a, a wealth of fiction, I have a lot of brand new popular titles, um, bestsellers, um, some very on uh, trend uh, series. So please encourage your student to check it out. Um, they just use their username or user ID and their um, school associate password to log into the site and um, the platform will be, they'll be able to search what we have. This is the link. If they click that, they will get access to me. So a lot of our students um, are, if they need help, they don't know who to reach out to. Even if I'm not the one who can actually provide the help, I will find a way to get them the help that they need. Um, so always encourage them that, that we're a good place to start, um, especially when it comes to things with my MCPS classroom or the applications that they're, they may be struggling with or just need a little assistance with. And again, also if they forget their password or have a, any other issues, they can email me and either uh, myself or my assistant, Ms. Beauchart, will get back to them as soon as we can. We are running a discussion board within our course. Um, I mention this because as the students um, post questions, I can put the answers and then they will have access to that running thread. So they may find the answer to a question already there. So thank you for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, please don't hesitate to reach out if there's anything I can do to help your student be successful at Sherwood. I hope they have a great year. Thank you.